Hey guys, uh, been a long time since I made a video, or at least it seems like it, um, but now I'm going to make a video on the Tazar. Sorry I didn't get around to making a video on Birthrope because my FPS was problems, it was crap. Um, and Jagex maybe has fixed it now, so yeah, my FPS is back and I think I can do a video. So we're on top of Karamja, um, the volcano, and this is the new Tazar entrance. Um, what you're going to see right now is awesome lava, they updated that. Uh, looks great, and uh, they updated the entrance into here to be a little bit more suitable than just a hole in the ground uh, than it was before. So let's check this out. All right, so when you go in here, what you'll see immediately is the attention to detail of the texturing of the floor. It is as if uh, obsidian or uh, lava has hardened and has made the flat surface. It's cracked. It's awesome. It's gray. You also see statues representing different cast or different uh, species of the Tazar. Um, it looks good. Uh, just it looks awesome. There's a cave feel about it. But the best part of this update, one of them or probably the best for me is the way that the Tazar look themselves. They look awesome. The The bloom lighting does it justice. They are lighted up, I guess. Um, it is as if the magma is contained inside is their blood and they are walking creatures. They look awesome. Um, the other thing that you want to look at is you want to look at the lava. The lava looks great. It's a lot more detailed, similar to what we've seen in the wilderness update lava. Uh, it looks great. Another good thing to attention to detail on Jagex's part is this, the obsidian. The obsidian appears glass-like, it has a sheen, a shine to it, um, and that is what real obsidian is. You know, you've ever held real obsidian, it's kind of like glass, except it's black, but it shines, it's very shiny and very bright, and, and they did that really well with the light that reflects off that. Um, and this is just a big cave, a lot of it to me is empty, <laughs> but uh, is all done well, uh, as far as the graphics. So let's just bring up the real map. See how quick that loads. That's great. Um, yeah, so see, it's totally changed shape uh, than it was before. It looks great. Uh, but you'll see one bank there, two banks, yeah, and uh, down here, three. That makes three banks instead of one bank, and they're all in good locations. Um, your, fa um, your fairy ring's right there, still up there. And uh, it looks good overall. I mean, it's totally different. you got to get used to it. A lot of empty space, if you see there, but... Um, it's good. It, it really is a lot bigger. It's a lot better, in my opinion, uh, than it was. A dramatic improvement. And I remember it was just red and blotchy before. These guys just look amazing. It just used to be like orange, blotchy, I don't know, horrible graphics before. But they really have seemed to fix it up. Another thing is this is uh, this area over here is called the Central Plaza. Um, almost looks like you should fight something here, but this is like the large logo or the large crest that they have. Um, I didn't really notice this before. I don't. I think this might be new, um, but this is like the, their crest or whatever. It looks like that. Um, around the edge of the area are shops like they were before that you could buy things with Tokel. Um, they're good. They're the same though. There's nothing new there. Uh, let's just go down this way. I I think. There's a smaller crest, so you can kind of see what it looks like um, up there. Now, this is a library in here, which I think is really well done. Um, I really like it. It's good. It's really good. I mean, look, it's cool. Um, you know, there's their books. and well, Not really books. They're kind of like obsidian orbs. I guess they contain... Uh, there's that crest. That's cool. I like that crest. Uh, I guess they contain, like... Um, information on them or something I'm not really sure but uh, the lava looks amazing that flows like that it's like bubbling and I exploding it's it's really good I mean it's overall it is one of the best uh, graphical updates they made a place that was kind of unrealistic uh, you're basically stepping inside of a volcano and vault with volcanic creatures to be realistic let me just show you a couple more things that I thought were interesting um, this, you'll see streams of lava around uh, the uh, cave. Uh, that's awesome. It's awesome. And also, you'll notice that you are like in a cave or an underground civilization, and the lighting is illuminated off the lava. And you see that really well on the ground texture down there. You see it real well. Uh, the last thing I wanted to show you was let's fight this guy real quick. Okay, so. The fighting looks a lot better. The sound effects are awesome. By the way, I would crank up your sound uh, if you want to because they did a really good job. You hear the bubbling the lava. The atmosphere is well represented by the uh, audio and the background tracks that they play. And there's some good music 
uh, too, and uh, they've been doing a lot better. But here, check this out. We're going to kill him. He, he hardens, he blackens, and he crumbles. So, you know, at one time, I guess, the lava was flowing and when he was alive, and then as soon as he's dead, he hardens black, like, just to the rock, and then just falls to the ground and shatters. That's awesome, and then leaves us with our normal pile of stuff. Uh, so, overall, excellent update. Um, check it out, really. Um, it's great. I'm sorry I didn't get on the birth rope update slash taverly update, although I think that was excellent. has um, kind of a gimmick, though, but it, it was awesome. Uh, as far as graphics so uh yeah let me know what you think about this check it out and uh comment below uh thanks for watching guys